in my Facebook group, I term Fridays Fitness Friday. Today, I am going to do Fitness Friday with some motivation from the pies that I've been making this week for my pie course, which is now available. So, I want to give you the details about my pie course. And I want to kind of just cut to the chase and make sure that you know, yes, I completely understand making a pie is a lot more work than just ordering it or going to the store and buying something in the frozen food aisle. How much are you going to pay for that? You know, in general, you're probably going to be spending between probably eight bucks for a frozen pie um, that's going to be, you know, slimy and you get what you get. And is it okay? Sure. If you make a pie, you probably, if you have to buy fresh produce like apples, um, maybe you're going to spend like $12 on the actual produce, depending on where you live in this country or world. Um, but it's going to taste so much better. And I always have given other information about it's better for you. You control all the ingredients that go in. There's no preservatives. There's no high fructose corn syrup. And the idea is the taste is so much better. So this Thanksgiving, above all else, try to take me up on my offer. You need me. You need this course. It is going to bring something to your Thanksgiving table knowing that it's probably not going to be what we all hoped and it expected for it to be. Um, but I really wanted to give you a comprehensive idea of how you can come up with a pie that's not a waste of your time and you are going to enjoy that time with your family. This is a family friendly course. It's 25 bucks and it's broken down into modules. So you're not going to hear me going on blah, 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 blah about all these other things. I make it fun, but it's very detailed about what types of pans you should use, things that really go wrong when people make a pie and wonder why the heck did I just spend all this time and money and bought butter and, and this just doesn't even taste like anything and I have to throw it out anyway. I do not want this to happen to you and it won't happen, I promise. It is such a comprehensive course. You will gonna, you're gonna know all the details and you're gonna wanna stay to the end so you can enjoy the after piety, right? So fun, after piety. Um, so I, I really feel like even for me personally, I've been really struggling this week getting a handle on what are the rules, what are the regulations, who's telling the truth, what do you really need to do to take care of yourself as far as being safe for you and your family. Um, it's important to respect and understand the medical word and words, medical laws, and understand the consequences of what's going to happen. And I'm not going to be here to lecture you on whatever my beliefs are, but I really do feel that this is exactly what you need to restore a sense of family, to restore a sense of tradition. And even if it's just something that smells good to you in your home and you don't eat pie and you give it away to somebody, if you find that that would be appropriate, I really feel that you are going to appreciate this experience. So if you're home this weekend, you're not able to travel like you normally do, it can be really heartbreaking and, and the world is in pain regardless. This is an idea that I had coming from a family where we almost had a pie per person. Um, it's really something that always brought joy to our family. And we have stories from coming in and playing football outside or, or playing guns, which we would never play now. It's like cops and robbers with my cousins. And, you know, we'd all come in and we'd be cold I'm from Maine. And, you know, we rush to the table and there would be just blueberry pie, and apple pie, and crummy apple pie, and peanut butter pie, and you know, just went on and on and on. And, and it was just like the most fun to like get down and kind of fight over like the last slice. So seriously, my aunt had made something called mud pie, which is just like an ice cream pie. In this course, I didn't give you a recipe for ice cream pies. Um, I did give the recipe for my grandmother's um, silk pie, which is like a chocolate cream pie. Um, and I did include um, crust recipes and also crust ideas for cookie crust. So if you want to do chocolate crust um, you want to do a chocolate cream pie and not have a regular pastry crust which is traditional you would want to pre-bake your shell obviously because you want to bake the shell off because you're cooking the pudding and then adding that to your pie shell um, but what if you want to do like a 
a turtle pie, so you're doing some like an, a filling with um, like a vanilla cream or a custard, and you top it with like caramel and, and chocolate and pecans, and the crust was partially made out of pretzels. So you're getting that like salty, sweet experience. It's freaking amazing. Um, but with my cousins, and we got down to the end, we were, we were younger, obviously, which I can't say that wouldn't happen now, fighting over the last piece. Now it would be lemon meringue that my sister-in-law makes. And we literally took like a slice like this and we were trying to cut it up between like eight people. So of course it was ice cream. And anyway, those are the stories that I want you to bring from your Thanksgiving this year that you're not gonna have to fight over pie probably this year because there's not gonna be as many people at your get together but you can come up with something to make it fun for your family or your friend get together or, you know, honestly, just for you. So I really am super excited. I hope that you enjoy it. You take with it what you want. I am doing a Zoom Q&A that would be live over the weekend. And this course is going to be available through the holiday season. I'm gonna say, don't wait, don't wait, because you know you're gonna talk yourself out of it. It's Get to be last minute, the grocery store is gonna be shutting down, gonna be da 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 da. Stop the excuses right now, stop. So just go out, get it, and then when you watch it, I promise you, you're gonna be inspired. I promise you that you are gonna sit there and be like, I can totally do this. Plus it's me and I'm, I'm super fun. Um, so you're going to learn so much. And, and if you just watch it, you're gonna learn something anyway. It's gonna be far better than any Food Network experience you've ever had. You can write me questions on the modules. I can get back to you. And the live Zoom, and a, uh, Zoom class I wanted to do because I had done baking classes in the spring and it really was something that um, I think was great at the time, but you had to have your ingredients and bake along with me. So because of, you know, other people were on the call, you know, you kind of had to catch up. If you, if the audio feed wasn't quite as good and you couldn't follow along as well, um, it, it was much harder to be able to get success, even though people still had a great time. People had cinnamon rolls for their Easter holiday this year because they, they were able to take this class and end up with something and I got texts and emails all day. It was awesome. So this would be you this year. You can share those successes with me, but I set it up to you have the information and you're able to make it at the time that suits you best. So if you really just think you'll you get it, you want to read through it, watch the modules, which are super entertaining, super thorough, um, then you can do your pie a little bit later on, but just get it now because I probably am gonna take it down through January because that's gonna be a big push for exercise because everybody's gonna be on the train for that. Um, I, I probably will take it down in January for a little bit so the focus can be um, another product that's going to be more appropriate for that time of the year. So right now, don't pack on the pounds and then look for me in January, but make it joyous. Make it as joyous as you can and I promise you, um, you're not going to be disappointed and I'll be so looking forward to seeing you in the classroom.